It's giving Barb. It's giving Barb. It's giving Nikki. It's giving Pink. It's giving I'm a girly girl. Like, I'm such a girly girl. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pack with me video. This is my first time doing a pack with me video on my channel before. I've actually always wanted to do these. And uh, basically the reason why I never have because every time I'm like packing for a vacation, I'm doing it very last minute. I always like end up bringing everything that I need. But like I feel like packing is like the last thing that I have to do. Like I can't do it like super like early or like days before my trip because there may be like something that I want to add last minute and I don't want to have to reopen like once it's done it's done it's not I'm not opening that suitcase again like it's staying closed I'm doing my very first pack with me video on my channel I'm going to Tulum I gotta be a Tulum I'm going to Mexico, I'm going to Tulum. So if you guys are excited for this pack with me video, if you if you enjoy these kinds of videos, then give this video a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash the like button right now. Stop what you're doing, smash the like button, click the subscribe button and join the fam. We're so close to 70K, I cannot believe it. And then we're like 30K away from 100K, like what? That's I love that for me. I love that for us. So join the fam, join the tribe. That's what we call it over here on my channel. I love you guys so much and let's just get right into this pack with me video. Okay, so I currently have things set up in like little sections. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys because I know it looks like a lot is going on because a lot kinda is going on. So on this end, I have all of my skincare here and then for my two fragrances my roller balls um i wanted to try and have like at least travel size like items so that i'm right now like i'm mentally preparing myself to pack a carry-on because hypothetically i would love to just have to be responsible for a carry-on i don't want to really have to check a bag i get kind of like nervous about checking a bag i don't want like someone to go through my things i don't want my bag to get lost god forbid knock on wood but like you know things like that happen i personally just like to always have like my things on my person like i like walking through the airport with my little carry-on and putting it above you know my seat or whatever and being responsible for it so i'm mentally preparing for a carry-on right so everything that i'm packing right now is all travel size everything is under four ounces if it's a liquid and i don't have a lot of liquids but i could check a bag i have a larger luggage but i don't want to have to do that but if i have to i will but if i don't i won't mm. Okay, period. So I have all of my skincare here. And then I have baggies like for each um, category. So all of my skincare I'm gonna try and fit into this little pouch. All of these little pouches that I'm using are all from Ipsy. Um, my Ipsy Glam, my Ipsy Glam bag plus subscription. They always send like at least two bags in every single monthly box. So I just literally went into my boxes and I took my little bags out. So I'm gonna do all of my skincare in this pouch. Um, in this one I have tampons and panty liners because unfortunately I think my period is gonna come uh, while I'm on vacation. Hopefully it comes at the end or after, but you know, you gotta be prepared. So literally this whole pouch, and I thought it was so cute that I chose the one with women on it to put my tampons and my panty liners in it. Cause you know, I'm cute like that, you know? And then this one has like flowers on it. Um, so that's in there. And then these are all of my body products. I have, uh, what is this, Mosquito Bite and Sting Soother uh, travel size, literally. I get eaten alive when I go on vacation. Like mosquitoes love my body. I don't know what it is about my blood. It must be extra sweet or something because I'm cute. I always try to like now at least be mindful of bringing something for my mosquito bites, but then also something that's preventative. So I have bug spray here as well. I have sunscreen. I have um, 
deodorant, a little spray on deodorant. I have a stick deodorant. I have some more sunscreen, baby oil. Um, this is not for me. And then I have a little face scrub that's also not for me, but I'm bringing it anyway. And here I have my body wash. This is my method body wash. Um, let me show you guys. There we go. I filled um, that squeezy bottle with this Method a Body Coconut Rice Milk and Shea Butter Body Wash. I absolutely love this stuff so much. And then I have a Bum Bum Cream back here, travel size. I have my washcloth. I'm gonna put these items in these two baggies. And then I have a razor. We can quickly go through my skincare. Um, marula oil, I have my Murad um, cleanser, facial cleanser, a travel size of my Glam Glow Bright Eyes um, illuminating eye cream that I have back here, but I could bring that because I think this one is less than four ounces too. But when I seen that I had this one, I was like, oh, let me just take that, it's perfect. I have this um, facial cleanser my replica beach walk roller ball i have my gucci bloom roller ball this is a clay mask from one kind i just wanted to have like at least one mask and one scrub um because you never know like especially if i'm doing excursions and stuff and i get really dirty i might want to like really cleanse my skin and i would hate to like not have something to clean my face um i have this tatcha water cream and then i have my laneige water bank moisture um moisturizer i love this stuff so much my ordinary hyaluronic acid i have my little mini laneige lip sleeping mask that i wear every day um, I have a lip oil from Florence by Mills. This is a body scrub. And then I have my Super Goop um, Unseen Sunscreen. The name completely rubbed off. But this is, this is literally like my favorite face sunscreen. It's a 40 SPF 40 and it's water and sweat resistant and it's clear. And then you move over to my makeup and very quickly i just have like one of each thing except for my concealer i have three concealers because you never know but i don't really plan on wearing makeup like that i feel like i'm gonna want to wear it when we go to dinner if anything but it's gonna still be like no makeup makeup like it's gonna be really like soft and natural and effortless like i'm not trying to wear a face full of makeup <laughs> i'm just not so Three um, current favorite concealers. Um, this one's Pat McGrath Concealer. This one's from the Lip Bar Quick Conceal. And then my Fenty Beauty um, Instant Retouch Concealer. I have my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in, which one is this? Honey Waffles. I have the Lip Bar 3-in-1 um, Tinted foundation this does have spf 11 in it and hyaluronic acid and it's a dark shade like this shade is really dark this is not this wouldn't match me right now but if i get a tan the way i plan on getting a tan then i'm definitely going to need a darker foundation which is exactly why i'm packing this i have my mini clear brow gel from benefits and then i have this fluid eye paint matte eye paint that i'm like literally i want to use this so bad it's a liquid eye paint like it, but it's brown. I'm like, ooh, this would give me the cutest smoky eye. And because it's a liquid, it would dry down and it wouldn't budge. Like, I want to use this. And the packaging is just so cute. It's like literally, it's like matte. It's velvety. And then over this way, I have a mini professional primer because I need a, a primer. Like, can't have no primer. Ooh, need a mini primer. I have my Dose of Colors lip gloss in Honey, I'm Home my natasha denona mini nude palette this is like my go-to you see like everything is like literally like if it's not a mini then it's something small other than my big ass charlotte tilbury bronzer and this anastasia beverly hills powder but like i just i feel like i'm really good at like condensing like i know what i'm gonna use and i know what i'm not gonna use um my fenty beauty matchstick and truffle i have a mini benefit bad gal bang mascara if i want to do mascara on my lower lashes because i have lash extensions so i'm probably not even going to use mascara so it was like i'm not going to bring a big one and then i have this elf ride or die lip balm um that's really cute and then i have my blush california fenty beauty highlighter and how many carrots this is the only highlighter i wear my charlotte tilbury bronzer in tan three 
and then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder in deep peach this color is like very natural for me so i set my under eye with this it's very natural but with me getting a tan i know it'll be brighter and then it'll still work for me so like either way it's gonna be perfect and then i just have my brushes i just have one of each thing so i have a foundation brush bronzer blush powder um this is an angled like brow spoolie brush i have my benefit brow pencil concealer brush from fenty beauty i have three different eyeshadow brushes um my highlighting brush and then a straight like concealer brush and yeah like that's literally all i need for my makeup because again i don't plan on wearing a lot of makeup i feel very cute with no makeup like i could be like this every single day in mexico and be completely fine um i feel like i'm probably only gonna wear makeup when i'm really trying to pop out maybe for like some photos um, or for like a specific outfit and I'm like, oh, this deserves a full beat, but like other than that, no. I also am gonna pack my toothbrush and my toothpaste, but I don't want to pack that right now because I still have to brush my teeth before I go to sleep. But that's gonna get packed too. Don't don't think I ain't forget, don't think I forgot about that. Okay, period. Oh, I have to make sure I bring my tweezers. Cause you never know, you might need you know how many times I feel like I've been somewhere and someone's like needed a tweezer, like needed it and no one's had, like I wanna, I have a tweezer. For my hair products, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I wanna bring. All of this stuff back here, don't look at that. It's literally just this. I know for certain though, I'm bringing my two edge brushes. Don't look at my dirty toothbrush, okay? That's none of your business. Stay on my business. You're my business, don't do that, okay? Anyway, um, child, anyway, so I'm going to use my edge booster for these edges. And then I have this Cantu Shea Butter um, Extra Hold Edge Control, whatever, um, that I'm using to, like, maintain the neatness of my, of my braids. You see how they're starting to stick out? Like, I need to put something, like, strong on it to, like, really, because I've had these for, like, a week now. So, they're, you know, they're getting a little... But it's okay, we're gonna fix it up. I literally have to bring this because it's dry, it's for a dry, itchy scalp. It has vitamin E and aloe vera, and it's just so like soothing and cooling on my braids. Obsessed. I have dry shampoo from Batiste, and then in here, I filled this entire squeezy bottle. Oh, it looks like it's not even on street. I don't like that. But I filled this entire squeezy bottle with my Eco Styler gel, the clear one that I absolutely hate, but like I'm still gonna use it. So <laughs> this is literally filled with gel. Um, and then I just have some scrunchies and hair ties. Oh, and then makeup wipes. I forgot to mention that. So, um, oh, and then also my washcloth. I feel like I showed you guys that though. But those are all of like my toiletries and my makeup and my hair stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack those in the little baggies that I showed you. And then we're gonna move over to the the actual luggage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Mexico, eh? Mexico, 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 eh? eh. I'm so like organized. I love this for me. Okay, so in here. gonna put this in my like purse body stuff so we've got some Advil as well. I'm gonna stick that in my tampon bag because usually, you know, if I'm on my period, I'm getting migraines, unfortunately. 
Okay, next is gonna be the makeups. This bag that I picked out, actually. This one has lips on it, so my makeup's gonna go in this one. You see, like, I'm so, I'm so cute. This bag that's like empty so maybe like miscellaneous items will go on here right now it'll be my tweezer and then i have two extra lash spoolies to brush my lashes out and i'll put those together oh and i'll put my toothbrush in here and my toothpaste and then i have makeup wipes those don't have to go in a bag but that's that i need another bag okay so right now i have my makeup in here makeup wipes I've got my skincare in here. I have my lady tampons and stuff in there. I have body care in here. And my washcloth razor. And then in here, my last little ipsy bag. Um, I'm gonna do my hair stuff, but I need to wrap my oils because my oils will literally leak. I know people usually will just like put their oils in a Ziploc bag, but I feel like that still doesn't prevent them from like spilling or like breaking or anything. Like it'll just be leaking over each other. But if I individually wrap them and this one like decides to break and leak, at least the other two will still be like fine and neat and whatever and clean. just put these together like this and wrap it one more time. Okay, so that's all of my hair stuff. And then the last, um, that I said was gonna go in here was my toothbrush and my toothpaste and then whatever else like I decide to throw in last minute. Um, maybe like my sharpener, just in case my lip liner is. Oh, I didn't pack a lip liner. I could do that right now. I know I have one. These boob, boob lift tape thingies. I have these and I'm gonna add some fashion tape to this bag. Is that weird if I just throw them in here like kind of loose? Girl, I don't care. It's me. It's my body. Okay, I have this lash cleanser um, and then a lash brush. This is for cleaning your lash extension. So with any like excursions that I do, um, I might get really dirty and my lashes might get dirty and I need to clean them. So I'm bringing this. So I'm going to zip these up and bring them to the living room where I'm gonna be taking my suitcase out. So let's go do that. But I got my suitcase. I got this from Macy's last year. I've got, I got on sale. The brand, what brand is this again? Oh, Tag. I want to get like a luggage set so bad, like literally. But like, I feel like I would definitely invest in that when I get more into traveling, which I want to do. So normally, like if I'm doing like a weekend trip, this trip is not a weekend trip because it's five days. But if I'm doing a weekend trip, I normally will just take this, like three days or less. Um, everything fits in my duffel. It's just me, it, like, it literally will just be like so freaking heavy though. But 
we can't do the duffel because I'm gonna be there for five days. And then actually, like, when this video goes up, it'll already have like happened, so I can tell you guys. But after um, I'm in Mexico, like from Mexico, from Cancun, I'm flying to New York to surprise my mom for her birthday. Um, it's also just like it's like well overdue like I need to see my family like I've been here for almost a year and I haven't seen anyone other than like China when she came to visit me like what a month and a half after I moved here but like I miss my family I want to see them it's so small look at it this is a carry-on am I gonna be able to fit everything in here because I like I also have to bring like my outfits and then my shoes and my and my electronics Okay, so I have all of my bags here. I'm probably just going to put all of these on this side. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit everything. Okay, let's just see. So, let me get comfortable, chef. So, the reason why I'm stressed is because I don't know how anything fits that I have <laughs> planned. With me to Mexico, I don't know everything is like new stuff i didn't try on anything and part of me like just wants to just throw it in there and fingers crossed and hope for the best because i've done it before in the past and i might have like one or two misses but out of the whole collection most of it will look cute but like shanice was like no you need to try everything on <laughs> and i'm low like i agree with her but i'm just like oh yes let's just start with like the first thing that i bought which was from three months ago I, I bought this not even having a vacation plan just knowing like that i wanted it like point blank period i just wanted it um i got this from 11:30. it's this really cute crochet two-piece set so it's a skirt and the skirt goes all the way down to your ankles and it has a drawstring around the waist. I bought this back in March and it just came to me last week. Um, but I got it in a medium and now I'm like officially a size small. I'm a six and like all my clothes and I'm a small and everything. So I feel like it might be a little big, but I'll still be able to make it work. And then this is the top. This is also in a medium. Um, and it doesn't have a drawstring around the waist so hopefully it's not like too big but it does have sleeves if it is like more oversized i guess i can do like an off the shoulder situation and wear it really cute and loose okay so i went shopping on amazon and santi alley in zara those are the and savage of fenty those are the places that i was able to do like last minute shopping because i booked this trip last weekend so I only had a week for things to come and for Amazon specifically like I had to order for like one day shipping because I ordered this on like Tuesday night so basically Wednesday and I'm leaving Friday so I needed it to come Thursday which it did. So the first thing I got was this black bathing suit. It's a two piece bathing suit so these are the bottoms. Very cute, very cheeky um and then this is the top the top i'm gonna have the picture also pop up but the top i feel like is so freaking cute it's like meant to be worn like to the side like this so one is thicker than the other and it has a little clasp in the back i was looking for like colorful bathing suits but everything was just not in my size or it wasn't available to ship um one day shipping so i had to settle for a black bathing suit and a white bathing suit from Amazon. This one I'm nervous about. I hope it fits because, honey, she is freaking cute. Oh, it's a one piece, okay? And it has a little knot detail in between the boobies. Um, it does have padding. The uh, black bathing suit also has padding as well. And it was a high cut um, bikini bottom. And then it's a one piece, so it's attached. So it's like your stomach is out in the middle, you know, and then it connects on the sides. And it's a high cut um, bikini bottom. I got this in a small and I got the black bathing suit in a small. So those are the two bathing suits that I got from Amazon. Then I went down to Santi Alley and I was just trying to get like just cute stuff. You know, Santi Alley is like the warehouse 
or the wholesale district, the fat wholesale fashion district, accessories, um, jewelry is over there too. So like literally all of the Instagram boutiques and Fashion Nova and Pretty Thing, all of them, they all like find, you can find the same items on Santee Alley, like in those little boutiques, you kind of just have to look for them, but they're there, like, it's not even like you have to look hard, because when I went with Shanice, if you guys watch the vlog that I'm going to post, when I went shopping for my trip, I brought Shanice with me, and I was like, look, that, I literally seen that on Instagram, like, I saw this girl wearing this, I saw that girl wearing that, I saw this on Pretty Little Thing, <laughs> and she was like, oh my god, yes, and I was just like, yeah, like, literally all so when you guys ask me like where I get my stuff from, I'm getting it from Santee Alley, but it's like I'm buying from like the manufacturers or like the wholesalers or just like a boutique down there that also does like wholesale purchases as well, if that makes sense. So I got a bunch of cute stuff. So what do I want to start with first? Let me go in the order that I got things. So I went to one of my favorite stores, which is Glam by KS Fashion. They have a boutique on Santee Alley and they have an Instagram page. You can't shop through the Instagram page, but they post like the new styles that they get in stock. Um, so I got this really cute two piece set. Shanice picked this out. She saw it. She was like, oh my gosh, this would look so cute on you. I'm like, I kind of forgot how it goes. I hope I can figure it out. But like, it's a very cute, it's like one of those where you like wrap your boobs up and then you halter it. So, but then there's a space in the middle. So it's just like, you know, so it's like that on the top. And then on the bottom is a skirt and it's double lined, which I like. So that, that's how I know it's not see-through. Um, but it's just like this really pretty, like, what is this? I want to say tie-dye, but it's not tie-dye, but it's giving me tie-dye vibes. But yeah, whatever. So um, so that's what I got from Glam by KS Fashion. Then, where did I go? Oh, then I was walking and I just saw the prettiest. This was giving me major, major Barbie vibes. This pretty, 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 like, hot pink, fiery, this is, oh, this is Mexico satin, a silky dress, little bodycon dress with the exposed back, and it has the crisscross. Ah, I cannot wait to wear this. And there was these pink shoes that I was going to buy just to wear with this outfit, but I was like, I'm never going to wear them again. Like, I'm going to buy them to wear them for this outfit, and then I'm not going to be able to return them, and I'm not going to wear them because it's not even my style. But, like, ah. Uh, this dress, I don't even know how it's gonna look, but I just know it's gonna be giving. Like, I'm, oh, I'm size Barbie pink. And then I got these pink shades. These were $7. Yeah, I got these for $7. Um, just walking down Santee Alley. They're like, let me take them out of the, the bag. Like, you guys can see that. That's what they look like. So I'm like, I'm gonna wear these shades with the pink dress. But like, it's giving Barb, it's giving Barb, it's giving Nikki, it's giving Pink, it's giving I'm a girly girl, like I'm such a girly girl. I'm such a girly girl. Um, so yeah, I got that. <laughs> so good. So the, what's that? That's two outfits. Like, I feel like this can be worn in the daytime because it's not that like, it's not that fancy or like dark in color or just intense like i can wear this to a day party but i don't know when i'm gonna wear this that that could be like a daytime thing but it could also be a nighttime thing the pink outfit though i would definitely wear to dinner and then i saw okay so i had a photo saved of this beautiful girl on instagram and she was literally wearing this exact same outfit but it was in a burnt orange color and i wanted that one because of the color like I literally saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I saved it. But then I was walking and I seen this and it's the same jumpsuit, but it's in a tan. And I just, it's so freaking long. It's like this crocheted uh, material, uh, very see-through. I need like 
Uh, I should have. Mm. I should have got nipple pasties, but like, if my nipples gotta be out, my nipples gotta be out in Mexico. Like, it is what it is. But period. I'm gonna figure it out though. But, um, <laughs> this is very, very cute. And it's pants on the bottom. And it's like a, you know, sleeveless top on the top. And there's, there's a little drawstring in the center so I can cinch the waist too. This. This can play as a cover-up, but I want to wear it for dinner. Like, I actually want to wear it for dinner. And then I got, I needed another bathing suit. I was like, but I wanted one with color. And I saw this really pretty, first I picked out like a corally, peachy kind. But then I saw that there was a mint version of it right next to it. And I was like, ooh, that would look really cute too. With a tan, mint would look very cute. And it's like a very nice, thongy, cheeky bottom. I personally, like, first of all, I be in the gym working on my fitness, okay? Like, I be doing my squats, I be doing my hip thrusts, I be doing my uh, sumo squat, like, all of that. So, the booty is sitting, and it's poking, and I want, and I want it to be seen poking, like, I want it to be like, oh, she worked out, look at her booty, like, and I just feel like, I, I also have one of those butts that when there's like a really wide bikini bottom or it's like one of the wider ones, it always ends up like one side just falls into my butt crack every single time, like, and it's just so annoying. So like, I personally like a thong or like a really cheeky bathing suit bottom so this is like right up my alley it has the strings on the side so you can loosen it and tighten it as much as you want and then it also cinches so you can make it like really like you know or not really go and then the top is this situation so it's like a bandeau but because you can tie there's two strings you can actually tie it and have it like around your neck too you can do like a halter you don't have to tie it like straight across the back like this i personally you know my titties they need a little support so i'm probably going to be tying it in more of like a halter situation but i thought this was really freaking cute and yeah so that's my third bathing suit um chow anyway so then i went oh let me show you what i got from savage x fenty I wanted some new lingerie because I signed up for my VI, my VIP or whatever, and I don't be using it. So I was like, let me get some cute stuff. Ah, oh, this is so cute! Oh, this is the printed tricot teddy purple lavender bohemian paisley print. So this is a teddy, so it's like a little one piece. It, it's a thong in the back. It has the cups, so you have support. Um, and it's in this beautiful paisley color. Like, the, the, the lace on this is gorgeous. And then it has, like, the mesh in the middle. Uh, this is going to be so freaking cute. I want to take, like, some really, really, really good content photos, fashion photos, cute pictures. For Instagram, I'm, I'm trying to shoot my shots at Savage X Fenty so I can become a Savage Ambassador. I would love that, you know? Like, I'll do that for you guys. Like, I'll do it. So, I'm going to be um, taking some really cute photos in all of my Savage pieces on vacation. And I just can't wait. This is going to be so cute. Oh, yes. Okay, so that was the first one. The next piece um, that I got, or the next two that I got... Oh my gosh. Wait, I need to move closer to you guys because we need to like really get into this for like a second. Like, please look at this. I got this um, lingerie set. It's a bra and panty set. It has the underwire, but then there's um, mesh here. So it's going to be exposed under boob. And then look at this piece right here in the center. Like, in between your boobies, there's some little mm, flowers, like some little, what are these, like, oh my gosh, that is so nice. And then it has a really nice thick band so that you're supported. Um, so Rihanna really just, she gets it, like her mind is insane. And then look at the panties, 
we got a cute little cheeky bottom um i guess you could also you, you could kind of say that that's a thong yeah you could and it has the matching on the front uh, to match the bra and the color like this yellow i love yellow this is gonna look so good shut up oh my god okay and then the last the last lingerie set that i got let me open it for you the colors every single one of these colors like these pieces are hitting hitting is this bralette i wanted to get one that didn't have underwiring because i'm truly at heart i'm a bralette kind of girl you know like the underwire is cute because it be pushing the girls up and they be sitting and it's very sexy but sometimes you want something like that's still very cute and very flirty and very sexy but not you know so you know up you know so maybe it's a little com more comfortable so i got this really pretty bralette um again it has like the floral lacy mesh material going on and it just looks so freaking pretty oh my god this is gonna look so good on my tan skin and then i got the matching panties these are like a high rise um they're not as cheeky but they do have the exposed in a oh <laughs> I won't be trying those on for you, but very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, period. Oh, and then because I spent, I think, I don't know how much you had to spend, but I got a free gift with purchase. So I picked out a mask and I'm going to be wearing this the whole freaking trip. And I'm going to be wearing it to the airport. Like, I'm literally just going to wear this because my mask, I have one of them little, um, blue mask like the standard one but like i need a cute i need this i need this freaking cute this mask is it's lavender lavender is literally my favorite color and it has the savage um embroidery all over it in like a little like velvety mesh material oh mm. in the airport looking cute my lavender mask looking cute then i went to zara and i was actually so happy that when i walked in they actually had clothes that looked like they were for vacation because you know how you go in there sometimes and they'll have whole collections that are just like where am i gonna wear this to though personally where am i gonna wear this i cannot pull this off this is not for me but they had like a whole like it was really giving like vacay vibes and i was here for it so picked up these shorts that i thought were so cute they're little um knitted shorts but they're like a thin knitted material so they're really stretchy and it's just giving like these are gonna go on and just sit so nicely on the booty Ooh, these is these is gonna be real cute some little cute little knitted booty shorts so I got these and then I got um, a little white linen button up shirt and I got this in a size small. I actually want to like tie it so I'm going to button it probably like two buttons down and then I'm going to do like a little knotted situation. So it's giving me like safari, tropical vacation, Mexico, Tulum, Cancun, international uh vibes you know like that's what it's gonna be given period and i know what shoes i'm gonna wear with it too so potentially three dinner outfit one or two daytime outfits three bathing suits and then one cover-up and then i have my three sets of lingerie um oh and the last thing i got from zara was this bag i contemplated getting this bag for about an hour but I feel like, no, I know that it was worth it because this bag is gorgeous. This is the first thing that I saw when I walked into the store and I picked it up. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And then I looked at the price and I was like, ah, what? 
normally like I'm norm I'm used to spending like at most fifty dollars on a bag from Zara. This one was seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. But I genuinely, honestly, 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 let me get close. This was worth it, okay? This bag is gorgeous. First of all, it's wooden. Like, it's literally a wooden bag. It has this, like, uh, what is this? It feels like paper. I think it is. It's like a, a paper that's stitched or, or knitted or handcraft. I don't even know. But it's so pretty. Look at it with the cream and the tan. And then the, the handle is made out of that same material. And when you open it, it has a cloth interior and it's a magnet. Oh, hold on, let me move that. It's a magnet that closes it. And then this was the best part, you guys. When I opened it, the freaking chain. Look at the, hold on. Hold on, cause y'all don't even know. Like y'all don't even know what. Uh, look at this freaking, oh, look at this. This is cute. With this, come on. This one isn't, um, it's supposed to be here, but like, come on. Come on. This is giving Tulum. This is giving vacation in Mexico. I'm obsessed. Love this. Absolutely love that. I know I'm bringing my Gucci bag just cause um, she's very cute. She gets the job done or whatever. And yeah, so I'm definitely bringing that. So realistically, I would like to bring three pairs of slides, three pairs of heels, two pairs of sneakers and my Crocs, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So it might just be my three heels one pair of, no two pairs of slides my crocs and one pair of sneakers so let me start with my sandals i'm gonna do my zara slippers these little gray um patent leather not patent leather patent um slippers that i wear they're from zara it says right there i'm gonna wear it with that white linen top and the shorts and these, cute, done, boom. These heels that I got off of Santi Alley, both pairs of these are actually from Santi Alley, so I, I, if I can find a link, maybe someone on Amazon is selling them, but like, I don't know, would you guys want that? I got them from Santi Alley, so that's where they're from, but I have these two heels, my white strappy heels, and then I have these black strappy heels with a clear, um, heel and these have the white ones have like the triangle heel which I love so freaking much so cute um I got Crocs today I wanted Crocs for like I literally said like in January that I wanted Crocs and it never happens it should have happened but it's happening now especially since the queen um you know she she's been wearing her crocs like crazy she got them in black she got them in pink she got them in every color um so i got my pink crocs <laughs> i just need my gibbets now like i need to dress them up because they look so plain but like yeah these are also gonna be my airport shoes. I'm gonna wear these with um, socks. So I got those. And then I'm gonna grab my Gucci slides because I know I wanna have those for like, if I'm by the pool or if I'm on the beach or whatever, I'm gonna want like slides, but I'm not gonna want um, the slippers because those are like, you know, more for like an outfit. Okay. And then I wanna show you guys my new heels that I got. That were gifted to me what megan said bad bitches get good gifts and that's word to the ride i'm in well bad bitches get good gifts that's word to the shoes i'm wearing period <laughs> ah! but you guys are we ready drum roll freaking please drum roll please because these shoes right here let's just look at the box the box makes me cry every time I see it. 
<sighs> Look at, uh, it's so vibrant and just green. I'm seeing green. Ooh, I'm seeing green. These, yeah, these are the ones. These are the ones right here. I wanted a nude shoe that I could wear with you know outfits that call for a nude heel like i don't have a nude heel i have clear heels i have black and white heels i don't have nude heels so i wanted a nude heel and i got a nude heel and it's just the energy for me i posted on my story that i was wanting some shoes and things happened <laughs> and i love that for me it's that kind of energy that that needs to be kept and always apply, you know? But these are my my new heels, my Bottegas, that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> oh, these shoes are so gorgeous. I already tried them on, of course. When I got them, I had to try them on. But they came with the little. And these are them. They're so freaking pretty. I got them in a 40. I normally wear 41 um, in European sizing but on the website they had like a size chart and they said if you were a size 10 in us then you should get a 40 and not a 41. i low-key feel like i could have still got away with wearing a 41 because they fit but they're like a very close fit and i feel like if i would have got a 41 they probably would have just had a little bit more wiggle room but these are them they got the, you know, the classic Bottega sole. They're a square toe, nude heel. Um, the heel is not that tall. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know how tall the heel is. Maybe it's on one of these cards, actually. It's in Italiano. You know, fun fact, I took Italian in high school. I don't remember none of that shit. All I remember is um, Il Mangiano. I think that means I want to eat. I think that means food or something like, but I'm definitely packing these. I'm going to put them in my Bottega bag so that they stay nice and clean and just perfect because oh, that's literally how I feel. Like I want to put them under a light. This is the first of many more. I honestly fallen in love with Bottega. I've been following them on Instagram for a while now and every every season when they come out with some stuff i'm just like y'all just always get it huh so i'm definitely packing my bottega heels those are the third pair of heels that i'm going to be bringing with me to tolulu one more daytime outfit and i need my undergarments my like bras and panties but i'm not going to specifically show you that but i'm going to pack those two because you guys are probably wondering like why she mentioned no bra and panty don't worry, it's gonna be in there.
I just need to pack up my electronics. So I'm taking my laptop, my vlog camera, the batteries and the chargers for them, my headphones, and my speaker. I don't go anywhere without music. <laughs> Y'all know me. Okay, so I'm officially done packing. I got everything into my carry-on. So I'm very, very, very pleased about that. And then I have this one um, bag. This is a little Kohan bag that I've had for a very long time now. But it's big and it fits everything. So I have my laptop in here. My laptop case with like all of my electronics, my chargers, camera stuff. Um, I have that bag that had my toothpaste and my toothbrush and like miscellaneous items in here. I just brushed my teeth because I'm going to try and get at least like two hours of sleep. I got my Gucci slides. I cleaned them and my headphones are in here. And then this is going to be like my purse, which is my Gucci bag. I'm just going to wear the long strap and have it around me. But that's my personal. That's my carry on. And that's me. I'm tired. It's like... It's 2.48, um, I set an alarm to get up and call my Uber to the airport at 6, so I'm about to put my scarf and my bonnet on and try and get some sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack with me. If you did, then go and watch the vlog for this trip that I'm about to go on to Tulum. It's gonna be my first time in Tulum. Not my first time in Mexico, but my first time in Tulum. I'm very, very excited, so go check that vlog out if you guys enjoyed the pack with me so you can see all these outfits in action, honey. Okay, period. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the fam because we on a road to 100K. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next episode. Bye.